Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 33 of this journey to the ultimate, ultimate team. And as you guys can see up on screen there, we begin this episode out by selling on Joe. I might get a double upload today, guys. It's all up to you. So if you want a double video upload for the journey series, let me know down below. And also, you can see we're doing a bit of club maintenance to begin this episode. Most our Korean team is low on fitness, so have to go and resolve that somehow. But if you missed yesterday's video, which was a decider for the next trading to a team video, check it out. It will be in the description of this video. I think I'll leave a link for that direct video. And then you guys can go and vote if you haven't voted already, because I think currently there's a deadlock between three teams that all have the same vote. But up on screen, I own signed a Felipe Santana with the backbone chemistry style. For 950 and I felt that was really cheap considering he was going for 1100 so uh, you can see over there we're going to swap in Dede because Dede was letting us down he's no longer the center back he once was for Brazil and also I think we're going to have Diego Alves which we swap him out for Jefferson because Jefferson is much better and also I've been told by you guys to get Julio Cesar but that was sort of I'm going to try out Cesar in a little bit with a, a bit of a different team so you're going to see I'm going to start integrating the series, guys, into hybrids and uh, trying out hybrid squads. Now, our first opponent here in the Qualification Cup is going to be a Brazilian team. I think that's Claudemir. He's moved down to a silver player. And I can't remember his uh, bronze right winger. But you can see we start with Ronaldinho with a skill run. Scoop into a roulette. Going for the shot after David Luiz buckles him. And it just falls wide off the post. And here, Ronaldinho again. But Melo. And I think that looked like David Luiz handballed, the, uh, handballed it inside the box. We're just going to slow that down. Maybe it was his knee. I'm not too sure on that one. But it looked very, very close. Now, I want to know from you guys. This will be the question of the day. Well, before Santana goes and scores. But yeah, uh, the question of the day. Do you think handball should apply to players in online? Now, you saw there Julio Cesar getting a handball. But I think if the ball hits a player's hand or arm, it should go for a handball as well. So I want to know from you guys. Do you think that will make the game much more realistic? Uh, I feel that would make it much better because you'd get more free kicks and penalties. And uh, at the moment, I feel it just feels too too unrealistic to me. Even though EA say they keep improving the game, I feel if they did one improvement like that, it would make it much better. Now, here he goes and scores with Claudemir with a header. And straight from kickoff, I want to go on a skill on Ronaldinho with a uh, roulette. <laughs> Sorry, not roulette. Going with the Elastico chop over there, but getting fouled. I think before that was the McGeady spin. But we have a free kick now, and this is a quite a far free kick. Going to look for a power taker, which is going to be Felipe Melo. 41 yards. If we score, this would be crazy. And it lands just in front of Julio Cesar to make a comfortable save. So into halftime, we pretty much dominated him. But he does have three shots and three on target. And then here from uh, into the second half, I try to score with Manuel, and it went straight into the keeper's gloves. So... Yeah, guys, let me know if you want to double upload today. I will work on that. But uh, you can see over here, Joe gets the ball. Absolutely getting bullied by Dante. And he seems to be a very good player this year. He's just very strong. Him and David Luiz. Uh, I was thinking about making a team around those two guys. But uh, I'll have to hold out on that. But if you guys also know... Oh, that's a video. I have to tell you guys. That's the next journey video. So can't tell you guys too quickly. But you can see over there, uh, we do lose 2-1 due to a deflection. And that led me to being absolutely uncertain about what team to make or what team to use so I said let me use the Bundesliga team Koreans need to be on the reserves as they need fitness let's go into the divisions in division 5 and see if we can actually win a game now we get matched up with a 3-5-2 BPL and Liga BBVA hybrid which has Casillas, Ramos, Willian Ben Teke, he's mainly customized his team for pace and crossing, and that's exactly how he starts it in the 16th minute with Christian Ben Teke with a header. And then Aubameyang sets free, goes for a soft shot, and it falls down to Draxler on the rebound to get it us back at one all. And uh, this is how the game pretty much went, guys. This guy pays for an expensive squad just across the ball in. And then it was 2 1, followed up by. Uh, a bit of a lucky play over here. Ramos gets a ball and PK man manages to be on side to make it 3-1 into half time. So it's 3-1 with 3-1 down. Overall, not looking too pretty. And uh, the game seems to be accustomed to those who want to head the ball. But this is my best goal, guys. I think I've scored in FIFA till today. Um, Miggity spin going into a bit of a step overs. Then Elia going for that. 
finesse shot and scoring it. And I think that by far is one of my best goals in FIFA till today. And a bit of skill, crazy finesse shot. And it's against Casillas, which I think was the added bonus. So uh, excellent play from him over there. And we get, managed to get a goal. And I felt from that point, my goal was way better than his all of his goals. And uh, he almost got another header. But that was uh, going to bring on a few players. And that's Mario Goetze, Marcus Reus, and Christian Eriksen. And I felt he was trying to just show me that he's got a bit of a Bundesliga team as well. But we did pick up the loss. And I wasn't too fussed because I scored the best goal that I think I've scored till today. And uh, it was crazy. I think it was like 40 yards out. So I'm still going to be talking about that, guys. I just love that goal. But here, we're going to go into the Silver Clash. And we're going to be playing in the quarterfinals. So just swap over the two strikers because I couldn't find an opponent. And that normally does help you find an opponent instantly. So we're going to try out our new kit as well. We're up against a guy who's running a, I think that's a bit of a hybrid. It looks like a Dutch hybrid, but he's got a Denmark player, a few Denmark players over there. And I think that striker over there is from the same t uh, same nationality as Mayuka. So it's going to be quite an interesting game out here. We start things off with our opponent getting free over there with Holla, going for a shot and scoring it from that angle. And I, I just couldn't believe that angle went in. And it was just crazy. I was out of the box. But uh, that's how the game is sometimes, guys. If your keeper's not adequate enough, you can concede to really bad goals. And here, trying to clear the ball away, and it just falls to a striker. <laughs> Couldn't believe that. Silver teams have been a nightmare for me so far. But here, we get the ball, and we're going to work our way into Cho. And Cho's going to get it in the back of the net with a finesse shot. Then following that up with a bit of one-two play from a throw-in. A bit of a ball roll over here. A bit of skill as well. Trying to do those Korean skills. But it's very difficult because the majority of them are three and four star skills. So no five star skill is out there. But nonetheless, you know, we're going to try our best. Now here we're going to think we're going to... Yeah, it was a bit of a failed shot from my opponent. So I put that one in there. But here, 2-1 into half time, into the second half. He was just trying to get all those through over the top balls and it falls straight to him. He's going to go down the side, head it in. And uh, I couldn't believe at this point, 3-1 down. It felt like a losing spree was on its way. But Nam Jan Jay going to get the ball over here. Try to cross it in to Ha. And he will find it into the back of the net with a header. Which I think is going to be the way I have to change my teams. I need to go on to more of an aggressive role instead of just trying to skill everything. Now here Cho passing it into Park. Getting an equaliser into the 90th minute and trying to keep us level in this game, trying to bring us back from uh, what looked to be like we were completely down and out. So that means we will have to face extra time. And in extra time, my opponent was, uh, he pulled up his level. He played much better. But yet again, a cross will lead to a header that will give him a goal over there. So 4-3 down and into the just about the 120th minute. We've got the ball into Cho. This player does go down, but uh, we go with the finesse shot over there, and it's a bit laggy at this point in the game. It was very irritating. So that means we have to go into a penalty shootout. He does miss his first penalty and uh, gave me a little bit of relief. But then Cho is going to stand up, go straight down to the middle, and uh, score it over here. And this guy was a little bit easy to read on the penalty side, so I kind of went to the left and uh, saved it. Then Park to stand up, and he puts it in comfortably. And I thought this guy was going to be planted in the middle all the time. But then he twisted it up a little bit and went down to the left-hand side. So uh, brought up a bit of a different play style. And then No Young Jun going to go down the left and score. So I was trying to imitate pretty much wherever he went to get into his mind. And he went down the left yet again. So Nam Jun Jay is going to be the one. If he scores this, we would win. But he moves it and sends it on miles over the bar. And then it's down to us to save the ball. And went down the left. But the keeper couldn't grab it, or neither was he able to get his hand onto it. And that meant that we have to score this one to win the game. Otherwise, we would have a big chance of losing. And Lee, going to go straight down the middle. And he does pick up the winner. So, we do manage to win that game. I believe I was going to wrap up the episode here. But I got my season ticket pack after this episode. And I decided, you know, I'll going to open it in this episode for you guys. So, you can see here, went and sold on a lot of things. You guys will see that in the next episode. But uh, that was mainly lots of stuff in my club. Now, I'm going to show you guys the season ticket pack I got. And you guys are going to see. Let's see if we can get something quite interesting over here. So, we're going to open it up. I know at the moment, it's all legends. Uh, Inform Ronaldo. It's Inform Sacco. So, there's a lot of big players. But this was a little bit before that. This was on Tuesday. So, kind of missed out on that. But here, you can see you've got Handanovic. And then, scroll over a little bit. And I found Stefan El Sharawe. So, 
He's going to be a player I'm going to try basing a team around. And Handanovic, I think I'm going to go back to the Syria, get back to basics, and also make a non-red German squad. But uh, I'd like to thank you guys for your support. Also, leave a like if you have enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you're new here for more daily FIFA 14 content. But I'm going to wrap up this video here. So this has been AVJV Gaming. And I'll catch you guys for the next episode.